Minasan konnichiwa, Rampant Sensei des. In this video, I'm going to show you how to write the word Japanese in Japanese and in bubble writing. So, if it is the start of the school year, this might be a good way to decorate your Japanese books. Now, bubble writing can be a bit difficult to draw freehand, especially with a writing system that we're not used to. So I've decided to make it easy by writing each character very carefully in pencil, and then outlining that with a texter and erasing the pencil marks. So, I've laid out the items I need. I've got a pencil, an eraser, and some textures to do the bubble writing and colour in with. I'll get started. In Japan, Japan is called Nihon, and I'll write Ni first, which means the sun. You may have heard of Japan being called the land of the rising sun. I'm going to write very gently with my pencil, not putting much pressure on, which is going to make my writing a little wobbly, which doesn't matter as I'm going to rub it out once I've done my bubble writing as an outline. The next character is Hon, which we know as book, but can also mean origin or beginning. Where does the sun rise? It begins to rise in the east, and because Japan is east of a lot of countries, that's how the country got its name. So, together, these characters mean Nihon for Japan. But I have one more to write, and that is Go, which means language. Go has four parts called radicals, and each radical has a meaning. The first radical means speaking. The next radical you will recognize as Go, number five in Japanese. And the final two down the bottom are the mouth radicals. When I put this Go kanji character after Nihon, Japan, it turns into Nihongo. Japan plus language means Japanese language, Japanese. Now that I've written Nihon, I'm going to get one of my textures and draw in my bubble writing. And this is basically just outlining each letter. With that done, I'm going to take my eraser and erase my pencil markings and just leave my bubble writing. Now I can decorate the insides of my bubbles. You can pick any pattern and draw it in. I think I'll do dots for mine, and I'll use two colours. My outline is blue, so I'll pick purple and aqua, which are related colours. And there you go, a nice little title to decorate your Japanese book. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Ja, matane.